what would a doctor's crazy fever dream be like? Let's find out. Hello everyone, this is Rin from Super Cat Punch, and that sound just makes my jaw feel weird, I don't know why. We've got an elderly male, very underweight, age unknown, gunshot wound to the chest. Else? I... unknown. What do you mean, unknown? I couldn't find it, but he's breathing. Well, then he probably has a pulse. It's impossible. It might just be faint. Just get him hooked up to the monitor, we need to operate now. Dr. Hagstrom? Yes. Are you ready to operate? Yes, preparing to make the first incision. What? <laughs> they would not do that, by the way. If they could not get all the patient's vitals set up, they would not operate on somebody. I understand this is probably part of the fever dream, but like, goodness gracious. I needed to make the incision above the bullet hole. Oh my god. Where's his blood? I've never seen anything like it. How is he alive? Get that bullet out of him first and then, well, just get the bullet out. Glass shards? I scraped the tweezers along the glassy surface. How could such a thing exist? Well, something oozed out there. The inky black blood splashed on my face. It felt both hot and cold and seemed to work its way past my eyes, across my face, and into my nose and mouth. And then I fell into darkness. Oh no. Fun story time, by the way, a very long time ago. When I was a young kid, I was in pre med and I, I was a student watching a surgery and as soon as they started cutting into this patient I just I couldn't do it <laughs> it wasn't for me <laughs> I have so much respect for surgeons but it just it could not be me oh so I went into nursing <laughs> Dr. Clarge like what where are you whiteboard what oh <laughs> I thought he said whiteboard. <laughs> I was like, he's in the whiteboard. My god. Okay, well, let's walk over here. Oh, there was nothing on the tray. I wasn't going to touch it again. I was probably highly toxic. There was no need to take them down. I didn't want to wipe down that table until I knew what that substance was. That's completely fair. I had more important things to do than wipe it down. There was no need to get the anesthesia card. I didn't have any reason to go rifling through the cupboard. Oh my goodness. What in the world do they want to keep in there? This is the only way out. How did someone chain these doors shut? Bloody handprints appeared on the glass of the cupboard. It was a cheap Halloween trick, that kind that Dr. Blake liked to pull, but not at work. Blake, wherever you are, this isn't funny. People are relying on us. This will cost you your job. The only answer was the incessant rain. Heck. I looked at the cupboard. Perhaps I had to look inside and play a stupid game to get out of this. He would be gone by tomorrow if I had anything to do with it. Okay. There was something at the back of the shelf. I needed to get the bottles out of the way to get it. <coughs> I? What was that? Did I imagine it? I don't- I don't think you did, sir. Bottle with a key inside. Okay, well I'm assuming it wants me to- the key was suspended in the bubbly green liquid, the bottle sealed with wire. Right, I wonder where our little friend went- Ooh! What's happening over here? It was my home, my study. Why was it here? Oh. What in the world? Photograph. 
Oh no, it was a photograph of me and Mary on our wedding day, but what happened to our eyes? That's actually pretty spooky. It seems to want me to click on the gem. I guess that is all that I can click on. Okay. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> I cannot do anything. Oh no, did I break it already? Eh? Wait, no. <laughs> Why do I break every game that I touch? Ow! How do I manage this? Okay, we're back. I'm not going to touch the gem through. Can I, oh, I can, I can grab the latches though. Okay, there we go. So if, I guess if you click the gem before you click the other latches, it, it seems to break it. Oh, hey. Mary? I'm just gonna save. There we go. Alright, I can't click on anything else here. Okay, well, did you look at it? Lost, I could sympathize. This is different now. The fluid was flowing together and hardening in places, growing and changing. Oh, right. Oh! The marionette was almost life-size and made of carved wood. I couldn't place the style. Maybe it was Middle Eastern? Okay, there's a wooden bowl. Marionette's eyes stared unblinkingly. That actually looks like her eyes are closed, sir, but okay. Oh! I did a thing. I did another thing! The liquid took on the appearance of blood. And, strange to tell, among the earthen lot, some could articulate while others could not. And suddenly one more impatient cried, Who is the potter, pray, and who is the pot? A small iron key appeared in the bowl as the blood seeped away. Okay. Thank you. Got a key. There's the... Was that liquid there before? There was more of the dark liquid seeping from behind the cupboard. Where was it coming from? Everywhere. Oh, oh. I didn't actually expect to be able to pull that. Moving the cupboard revealed a fleshy wound in the wall. I could hear crying from within. Yeah, I'm just gonna save... I might be able to unlock that as well. Oh, what was that? Good evening, good morning, whatever time it is. It means very little to me. Oh! Hey, before we begin, may I check your name? What? Joshua Hagstrom, yes? Dr. Joshua Hagstrom? Yes? Excellent, always good to start by knowing who you're talking to. I suggest you ask some questions, young man. I suppose this must be quite shocking. Maybe I would have reacted the same once upon a time. I'm a bit long in the tooth now. Oh, he smiled. <laughs> anyway, ask your questions. We must draw this to a conclusion. But we have two endings to get. Who are you? What are you? I'm sure I did once have a name, but I must have forgotten it long ago. I don't need a name, to be honest. All I am is my role. Your role is what? Scribe, maybe? Historian? Some days I feel a little more than a glorified dictaphone. <laughs> I love that smile. What are you recording? Everything. A story that I am privileged to be witnessing. Yes, call me the witness. That will do. What kind of story? The best kind. Adventure? Love? Loss? Struggle? Triumph? A masterpiece. Skin, your body, how are you alive? I don't know that I am. 
I exist, that is enough. All I need are my senses to observe, my mind to understand, and my hand to wield the pen. All else is just matter, free to be lost. What is this place? I suppose the best way to describe it is as, as a holding cell. No, sorry, I, I should rephrase that. Maybe an airlock? I know, probably a poor analogy. Maybe limbo? Purgatory? But I should say, not in a religious sense. From what I have seen, there is no god. Not in the popular sense, anyway. There is power, that is certain. <laughs> Apologies, I'm, I'm rambling. I like this blue color that the, the text changes when you read it. What is going on? Am I dead? No, not at all. Well, not yet. Even so, life is temporary anyway, my friend. From the point of view of eternity, you may as well be dead. What is that supposed to mean? Stop speaking in riddles! Well, that is a fair point. I do rather like the sound of my own voice. I rarely get to use it nowadays. Who is the man on the tape? The man on the tape? Oh, I guess the person we were operating on. Oh, he would have what remains of my guts for garters if I were to say his name. Needless to say, he is the reason that I am here, and the reason that you are here. He's watching you. Quite the privilege. What is he, a demon? <laughs> no, not at all. He is a man, just like you. Well, maybe not exactly like you. There is no one quite like him. Can you help me get out of here? Yes, of course. The destination, though, that is what you need to decide. There are two endings, after all. What do you mean? I will lay it out for you, good doctor. You have always been a conscientious man, diligent in all matters of work, have you not? I... I have. Following in the footsteps of your father, your brothers, you were the youngest to achieve your doctorate. How do you know all this? You chose those nights away from your wife, from your daughter, to follow your dream. I didn't choose it as always a choice. I am not trying to shame you, Doctor. You seek knowledge. You want to better yourself. And by your actions today, you have given yourself the opportunity to see things, places, events, that you would have never had the chance otherwise. You can join us, see the unseen, rise up against the etheric bonds that shackle humanity, and break them. Or... You can return to your family, to your profession, become a ripple in the ocean of time, lost in a heartbeat. And that is not without meaning, my friend. For every moment of the cosmic that you witness with us, you will miss a moment just as vital for your soul with your wife, your daughter. I... I had a family once, too. I was a grandfather. I suggest you take some time to decide. Come back to me when you are certain of your answer. I will be waiting. I see. Okay, so I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save it as something else too. Just in case. Oh, I didn't actually mean to click on that hole. But I guess we're going this way first. Okay. So there's crying coming from in here. Can't examine anything yet. Let's just keep the crawling. Okay, there's fleshy webbing and there's a spider behind us. Okay. So, can I. We're gonna wanna get rid of that webbing? Oh, I wonder if we, like, die if we go back or something. Okay, so there's an- oh! The eyes had long been lost, but there was something else there now. A red gem lodged in the eye socket. I'm not quite sure what that said before. I wonder if it belonged to his daughter? I made my way back out of the hole as quickly as I could. Freya had loved this bear long after his fur had worn away and his eyes had gone. Yeah, I think it's his daughter. Okay, I'm gonna go back, make sure I can't glean anything else from the marionette. Nope, okay. Let's check the mouse on the table. The shape was now unmistakably human. Who is this? Hi. 
I, I think we're being watched. So I wonder if the decision stems from... Oh, hopefully I didn't click on the hole again. Okay. I wonder if the decision stems from, you know, you can just talk to him and choose, or if we have to go through this stuff, like going through this door with the key first. Because in Abscission, you had to make certain decisions for endings to be available to you at all. Oh, I'll need to put the... This... In this. No? Eh? Really? No, that wasn't right. What, then what do you want from me? <laughs> okay, I managed to lever the wires off and get the key out, but the scalpel broke in the process. Alright, so that's the second key that I need. Okay, so I still have something left to do here. Okay, I was able to carefully remove the jewel without damaging the toy. Freya wouldn't have forgiven me if I had hurt Monty. Alright, so now we have both of these. Okay, so... Interesting. I put the, the jewels in the silver bullet. To become reborn, you must first recognize your roots, the land that first held you. Secondly, you must bathe in the blue waters that crenched, crenched, quenched your thirst. Lastly, you must allow the essence of life to flow, but blood be bound. Recognize your roots, bathe in the blue water. Oh no, do I have to choose? Uh oh. Well, luckily, I literally just saved. Uh. I feel like I'm missing something if I do this now, right? Okay, well I cannot leave, so I guess we'll just make a choice now and see what happens. I'll choose uh, the first option, knowledge. Oh, yeah. The curious, twisted man nodded, his mouth firm. So be it. I took the key. It weighed heavily in my hand. Oh, okay. M maybe this is what I had to do? I am not sure. Well, I think the chains were the last thing that I had to do, so I, I guess that is what I had to do, is talk to him. It just might be important for me to have the bullet with the two things in, in them. As the last chains fell away, I flung the doors open. Nothing could have prepared me for the sight that lay beyond. A bright light? Oh! The stupid jam and music, though. I love the colors. The city of pillars, Dr. Hagstrom. My home. And one day, I will return. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, let's load. What's the bullet for? Okay, I, I don't think there's anything else that I can actually do, so let me just choose love. Second option. Love. A curious, twisted man gave a sigh, a smile moving fleetingly over his withered features. So be it. I took the red gem. It was warm in my hand. Wait, hold on, I don't like where this is going. Completed silver bullet. I won't do anything. The symbol on the bullet was glowing. I felt nausea rise in my gut as I stared at it, the blood pounding in my ears. And then, as the bile rose in my throat... What? A shame. I had hoped that... But then, hope means little. And you have earned the right to choose. You saved me, and I will respect your decision. Remain here, but know this. In your silent evenings, in your choked-back confessions, as the shadows of doubt dig their way into your soul... Hagstrom, can you hear me? He's coming around. 
contact his wife. Her name's Mary. The contact details are in his file. His teeth. Agstrom, we're going to do some tests. You just passed out. Have you been drinking enough? Will he be okay? I think so. What happened to him? He was operating on... He was... Is there a patient on the way? I don't think so. The table is prepped, but there's no one. I remember his teeth. I think we all need a rest. His teeth! His teeth! Oh. It's the teeth of glass. <laughs> oh, just imagining glass teeth just like makes my jaw hurt. I don't know how to explain that. I will be waiting. So, I mean, it's like he gave you a choice, but he punished you for only one of them. <laughs> you know, if this still isn't part of the fever dream and he actually has glass teeth now, it, it's, it's not really a choice now, is it? Because if he will be waiting, he's still waiting for you to make the, quote, right choice, which is to go with him into his, you know, world of knowledge or whatever. <laughs> so rude, not actually giving them a choice. This was an interesting little fever dream game, though. I always like your games. And I, I just, I can't wait to see more from you because your ideas are all so different. Like, Abscission, Carnival, Slayzak have all been very different. But you always keep that, that element of intrigue and the environments are great, the art is great, the animations are great. Thank you for all the work you put into this. It, it's amazing. <laughs> And I hope I made you smile today, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye!